the leadership wrangles at the University of Nairobi have continued with new chapters of drama with the Vice Chancellor Professor Stephen Kiama saying he will run the institution from a temporary office. This even as he accuses Professor Isaac Mbeche, whose appointment as Vice Chancellor was revoked by the court of refusing to provide the keys to the Vice Chancellor's office. And we are now joined by Vincent O'Dwar. Vincent, what more details can you gather from this particular drama that is happening at the University of Nairobi? Uh, sure, Zainab, I can tell you the drama is still uh, gaining momentum here at the University of Nairobi, especially at the main uh, campus at the CBD here. Uh, today in the morning, a number of lecturers and also some officials from the lecturers' union were here at the Great Court at the, here at main campus, whereby they held a meeting in the morning. And basically, these were a number of lecturers who held this meeting to basically talk about the leadership wrangles that, is, that, are, that are being experienced here or witnessed here at the University of Nairobi and some of the resolutions they had is that the lecturers have decided that they are going to wait for a permanent solution as far as who is the legitimate vice chancellor of the University of Nairobi and they have said that these uh, continued wrangles are really affecting the running of the university and uh, the, the, the leadership wrangles are basically creating confusion among the students and uh, among the students and also the lecturers are uh, basically the staff of the university in the, in the morning after the meeting they said they want a vice chancellor who has support from the government and I asked them so does that mean they will they are not going to work with wait and see and to make sure that they are they will only be able to work with a person who will have the support from the government as the vice chancellor and therefore the dilemma continues here at the University of Nairobi and uh, during morning hours the embattled professor uh, Kiyama spent uh, uh, the morning hours you know walking uh, and meeting students and also trying to to talk to, to the lecturers who were holding a meeting here and he basically according to lecturers he basically you know the lecturers told him that he can only be allowed to attend the meeting as a staff or as a staff member of the University of Nairobi and not as the vice chancellor. And uh, after a few minutes, he, uh, Professor Kiyama had uh, to leave. And uh, what is transpiring here again, you know, uh, the, 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 the acting, uh, uh, you know, Professor Isaac Mbeche, who had been appointed by the education CS as the acting vice chancellor before the court revoked his appointment. You know, Professor Kiyama is accusing him of refusing to hand over the keys to the office of the vice chancellor. And right now, Professor access the office of the vice chancellor because the, 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 the person or the Isaac Mbeche whom he had sent on leave. Remember yesterday, Professor Kiyama had uh, sent uh, Professor Mbeche on leave that, was, that took effect from 6th February. And uh, now if, the, if Professor Mbeche is on leave and uh, he has refused to hand over the keys to the office of... But basically also we've witnessed in the morning, you know, there are some students who are trying to organize some demonstration, but uh, the turnout was very poor and we only saw about six to ten students who are, you know, are trying to sing and also try to pass their message basically uh, along, around the vicinity of the university, whereby what I have uh, noticed that there are two camps. There are students who are supporting Professor Mbeche and there are students who are supporting Professor Kiyama. The same with the lecturers. There are those who are supporting Professor Kiyama and there are those ones who are supporting Professor Mbeche. And therefore, the, from the students is that they want this issue to be resolved as quickly as possible because they are saying this uh, problem is uh, really affecting the running of the university and also service delivery as far as the students are concerned. Because remember, this week, it is the week that uh, some of the first years were reporting to to, to, to campus and also some were also supposed to sit for exams or some were sitting for exams and therefore the students want the government to really intervene and give them a way forward so that they can know who is in charge of the university but as far as the status of the University of Nairobi right now is concerned is that uh, embattled Professor Stephen Kiyama whose uh, you know appointment was reinstated by the court is now the vice chancellor and he said is we will continue being the vice chancellor until the matter that is now before the, the employment and labor courts is really resolved. But as far as he's concerned, he's saying he's the one who is running the university, and that will be the remaining status as we continue witnessing what is happening here. But for now, that is all for now. For now, I'm taking you back to studio.